I am collecting these amazing calendula amants from now. They are so beautiful. I have them everywhere. Let's make a beautiful soap from these gorgeous flowers. I can't wait. I collect some my beautiful calendula and I want to use this in my new soap. I add these beautiful leaves. They are just like teeny tiny sun. I love them almost the same like, like my dandelion. This is amazing soap. <laughs> Hello, my boy. I love you. You have to wait. Sorry. <laughs> I forgot what I want to say. <laughs> Anyway, I finish this and then I show you the next step. There is my olive oil, infused olive oil with calendula. I infuse this about two months and it already has beautiful orange color. But I saw a video from Yvonne and she makes everything with mixer and she get the most beautiful orange color I ever seen. So I want to try make calendula soap this way. I never done <laughs> such a thing. I just infuse the petals and flowers and strain it. But this time, wow. Ooh. This is very full. This time I want everything mix, maybe just a few times. <laughs> we'll see. And then strain it. And I hope we get very rich deep orange color. Uh oh. <laughs> it's milky right now but we get a most beautiful orange color. I just hope that I didn't ruin everything. <laughs> so there, there is my sift cheesecloth. This is beautiful, rich, deep color. Wow. The smell is already beautiful. I just love these ordinary flowers. I have them everywhere. I collect them every day, little by little. They are just amazing. Can you see how beautiful it is? It's just amazing. I think this is a great idea mix the flowers into the oils because I think this way we get the most benefits from these beautiful, these beautiful flowers. Wow! This is very precious oil. Sometimes I infuse calendula petals in shea butter when I want to make salve or cream or something like this. Wow, okay. We are ready for the next step. I just added citric acid, 2%. I like add sea salt. You can use sodium lactate. I have both, but I don't know why I rather use 
Cecil. I am apologize for the noise. My washing machine working and someone cutting the grass. And instead of part of water, I add, I didn't decide if yogurt or buttermilk or something like this. I have coconut milk, but since this is callow, so I like, oh, and also I want to use my dandelion fluff because this work like silk, I think, and give the soap beautiful yellow color. As you can see, there is my dandelion soap. This is only color from dandelion and dandelion fluff. So I want to use it since I have last time I think I use I didn't use enough. <laughs> this is fun. This is fun. Then I have to strain my lye solution because I don't want seeds in my soap. I let it soak a little bit. Okay. <laughs> I don't worry about speed up my trays because this soap will be single color. I don't add anything except my essential oil mix and a little bit of my beautiful orangey petals. I love them in my soap because they are very soft. They are not scratchy, so I don't mind. They give the bar beautiful effect. Here are my melted oils. You can see the orange color from Calendula. I can wait how everything turned out after saponification. <laughs> Citric acid and sea salt are completely dissolved. So it's time to add sodium hydroxide. This will be amazing soaping experience. Always, always protect yourself, please. This is very caustic, dangerous. Gloves, goggles, long sleeve, open window, don't breathe this stuff. Okay. Because I have citric acid in it sometimes. Wow. Yeah, can you hear it? Volcano happened. Be careful. This is not fun. At all. We have beautiful yellow lye solution. My washing machine is very noisy. This is gorgeous. Okay. This will be quick and easy because I want only one single color from Calangela. In here I already have kaolin clay and buttermilk as a portion from my water amount. This time I am using 5% castor oil, 30% of olive oil, 
15% of rice bran oil, 25% coconut oil, 10% shea butter, and 15% tallow beef. Because I love tallow, I think these things go well together. So, first we need... Wow, this is gorgeous color. Mix kaolin and, and buttermilk. I don't know. You want to have a richer yellow color. <laughs> but I think still this is amazing. Okay, because I have in my lye solution dandelion fluff I want strain the seeds out yeah. okay <laughs> The yellow is starting deep enough. This is great. I add a little bit my beautiful petals just for the feeling. They are amazing. Some people don't like botanicals in so but I love them I also add my essential oil mix Licea Cubeba Lemongrass Palmarosa Lavender and Smidgen of Ilang Ilang I think I will need a new stick blender. According to the sound. Wow, this is gorgeous. This is gorgeous. Just simple, amazing, one color soap. The smell is uplifting little bit of flowery amazing i already have a beautiful what thick trace which is Great. It's very hot outside.
is beautiful. I knew that I have a little more this time. This was fast, I think, because of the Palmarosa. I think this one speed up the trace, but I don't mind in this case. That's why I decided to use it. It's already pretty thick. Hmm? The smell is wonderful. I love it. I don't think that gel face will be problem. We have 32 degrees Celsius today. It's very hot, which I like. Some few pieces on the top. They are so gorgeous. Deep orange color. I have three kinds of calendulas, yellow, orange and orange, but they have full flowers. I hope for pretty yellow, but it won't have a such amazing color. I don't think I achieve this color. This is pure beauty. I let it gel and see you tomorrow for cutting. There is something about these soaps, don't you think? They are just an amazing. I think this is just amazing soap. The smell is Wonderful. Oh, it's hard. I let it sit two days. Just simple beauty. You know what I mean, simple. The yellow is pretty, but I want. <laughs> I want this orange color. Maybe I add too little. Next time I add more. I just love these little specks. I just love them. They are soft and gentle, not scratchy at all. Wow. This will be Amazing, very hard, bubbly, nourishing soap. <laughs> Oops, sorry. This soap is one year, maybe longer, old. Maybe it's a little bit faded out, but I don't think so because I kept them sealed. So 
you able to see the difference? I think it's noticeable that mixing calendula into oils have some benefits, but I think they are just simply amazing. <laughs> I have my lovely thing. It's so easy made this way. And also I like on this soap art stamp. This is very old one from my beginnings. This one is from my sister. I love it. This beautiful stamp sent me my amazing friend Indra. Thank you very much, Indra. She knows me. I love unicorn. So I add this fun stamp on the other side maybe it's better add a little bit rubin alcohol 99 alcohol on your stem and they didn't stick too much well i push so hard <laughs> Oi, oi. little bit of but and let's try this unicorn I just love them this makes me happy wow just an amazing maybe i push too much isn't this beautiful so thank you indra for everything i have left over from beveling edges so i am curious which type of foam and lather give us this soap even though it's only two days old <laughs> wow can you see the magic i think this is thanks to butter wow buttermilk and maybe dandelion fluff because the soap have absolutely amazing silky lather it's just the feel is incredible wow this will be amazing over time just Amazing. Look at those bubbles. Such a young soap. <laughs> I am amazed. Like lotion. I just love this type of foam. I hope you enjoyed this video. <laughs> Let me know if you try this way add calendula petals into your soul. If you want, you can watch my oldest video how I made this with pink clay. Stay healthy, stay happy. Thank you for your support and beautiful comments and see you soon 
拜。